Jonathan Gavoni here of DraftExpress.com. We're here with Dakari Johnson at the McDonald's All-American game in Chicago. Dakari, how is Chicago treating you so far? Uh, it's treating me well. Just uh, taking all this in the McDonald's All-American game, just hanging out with the guys that I competed with over the past years is just great. What was your mindset going into this week? Uh, just competing with all the top guys and just having fun is the real key for me. Uh, what's it been like having so many future teammates around? Uh, it's real great, you know, just getting to know them on and off the court is just a great experience, and we're all bonding together and clicking well together. Have you been doing any recruiting here on the side, or do you leave that to Coach Cal? Uh, I leave it to Coach Cal, but I'm also in the air of Andrew Wiggins, so. <laughs> <laughs> any idea where he's going to go? Uh, I don't know. He just tells everybody the same thing right now. It's always, I don't know. But my gut feeling is he's coming with us. Cool. Uh, for people that might not be familiar with you, what do you bring to the table as a basketball player? Uh, just toughness, and I'm a post. I'm a presence in the paint, and just rebounding, and just a real good teammate. I like to pass, and I'm real unselfish. What was it like, um, you know, moving to um, to Florida in the middle of your high school career? What What do you think that did for you? Uh, it was real big, you know. When I got down to Florida, uh, I moved to my head coach right now, Kevin Boyle, and he was just great for me. He's one of the best high school coaches in America, and it's just a great experience for me. What's been the highlight of your basketball career so far? Uh, just winning a gold medal with the USA 1700 team. That was really the highlight. Of it. Do you, is that something you, you'd like to do more in the future, play for USA basketball? Yes, of course. I would like to just represent my country more and more, and that was just a great experience, just hearing the national anthem and played after getting your gold medal. I was actually at that tournament and you guys were, it was really fun to watch how you know competitive and unselfish everybody was. Was that kind of a conscious thing that you guys talked about beforehand or did it just kind of come together like that on the court? It just came together like that on the court, you know, because all of us was unselfish. Not one of us was in the shine, everybody was in the shine. Where do you see yourself uh, five years from now? Uh, hopefully in the NBA, you know, I'm going to work my hardest just to get there and just be a, a good player in the NBA. What stood out about Kentucky in the recruiting process? Uh, just a lot. You know, Coach Kyle, he told me the truth and he told me all the things I need to work on. He didn't uh, sugarcoat anything and he just told me I, the things I needed to work on to become a better player. With Collie Stein coming back, uh, do you have any concerns about coming off the bench, about playing time, anything like that? Uh, no, no, no concerns at all because my high school coach now tells me I need to work on moves to score over people with bigger size and that's more athletic than me. So I think he's going to help me a lot in preparing for the next level. Do you have a timetable in mind for how long you want to stay there? Uh, no, no timetable right now. I'm just going to become the best player that I can be. And whenever I'm ready, then I'm just going to. What about off the court? What are some of the things you like to do when you're not playing? Uh, just hanging out with my friends, going to the movies. You know, I'm a good ping pong player. You know, I beat Wayne Sheldon earlier this week. There, he was talking a lot of smack. Also, Kennedy Meeks, he got it too in the ping pong game. So, yeah. <laughs> Great, man. Thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it.